Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we will learn how to connect to MySQL database and Visual Studio 2026. So let's start. So first we will create a new project. As you can see we have in forms app.net framework. This is the old version. We will select this new version and click next. And here I'll name this MySQL DB connection. Click next and click create to create the project. So now we will drag a data grid view here. So I'll use data and this one is data grid view. So I'll drag it. Now I'll expand it a bit. Then I will search for a button and I will drag in this button as well down here. So I'll expand it a bit and I will change the text on this to get data from DB. Now the text is changed and now I'll double click on this. To create this click event now inside here we will write our code but first let me show you the database if i come here to my SQL, you can see we have this passenger safety db database and inside this database we have this bike drivers table and inside this we have these records so we will retrieve these records so i'll go again to visual studio and here first we will create the connection string so i'll use string con string equal and here i will use server equal local host semicolon then we will use uh, database equal to passenger underscore safety underscore db semicolon and then it takes user id user space id equals and uh, here we will use root and as we are not using any password so we will use ssl mode equal to none semicolon and semicolon at the end we will remove the space here and ssl mode as well as these spaces now our connection string is ready so we will create our connection so to create the connection we need a dependency called mysql.data so i'll right click on this new get package manager i'll go to this browse and i'll search for mysql.data so this first one we will install this apply accept and as you can see a green tag appear here so it means it is installed now you can see it here in the install tab so now i'll close this and now i'll go again to my code and i'll click here and i will use mysql connection con and we have to import this equals new mysql connection and here i will pass in con string and now i'll put semicolon at the end and now i'll open the connection and now the connection is open so i'll create a query string query select static from bike underscore drivers semicolon and now we will create mysql command cmd equals new mysql command and it takes the query and the connection now we will execute this mysql command so we will use mysql data reader reader equals cmd dot execute reader and then i'll put semicolon at the end now we have all the data in this reader so we will create a data table data table dt equals new data table dt dot load and we will use reader semicolon and at the end we will give this data table as a source to data grid view data grid view one dot data source equals dt semicolon now our code is created here we create the connection string then we give this connection string to my scale connection we open the connection then we create the query execute give the query and the connection to my scale command then execute the query and then load the data into this data table and give this data table as data source to data grid view so let's run this and check if it is working so now you can see that all the data from that table is retrieved and drawn here 37 records so in this way you can connect to my SQL database in Visual Studio 2026 and can retrieve data. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.